Two Art Secrets, presented by Sandra Dingale. Welcome to the channel, Texture Art Secrets. Texture paintings have been a significant part of art history and have found their place in various cultures around the world. Some cultures and art movements that have prominently featured textured paintings includes Impressionism Europe. Impressionist painter like Claudine Monet, Pierre Auguste Renoir, and Vincent van Gogh used the textured brush strokes to capture the fleeting nature of light and color. They applied paint in thick layered strokes, often leaving visible brush marks on the canvas, which added depth and movement to their artworks. Second, we will have a glance at Abstract Expressionism of United States. Post World War II art movements led by artists like Jackson Pollock, Willem de Kooning, and Mark Rothko focus on the emotive power of paint and embrace the texture as a vital component of their artworks. Pollock's signature drip paintings and de Kooning's heavily textured gestural brush strokes are prime examples of how texture can contribute to the overall impact of a paintings. Third, we will check the indigenous Australian art. Aboriginal artists have used textured materials and techniques in their artwork for thousands of years. Traditional dot paintings, for example, feature intricate patterns of dots applied with sticks, brushes, or even with fingers. The use of yellow ochre a natural paint also provides a rich earthy texture in many indigenous Australians' artworks. Then we will see the fresco paintings, Ancient Rome, Renaissance Italy. Frescoes are created by applying pigments to wet plaster, resulting in a slightly raised textural surface. This technique was widely used in ancient Roman art and experienced a resurgence during the Italian Renaissance. Michelangelo, Kaito, and Raphael are created fresco with a distinctive texture. Last, not least, is about the Japanese Nihonto paintings. Nihonto is a traditional Japanese painting style it uses the mineral pigments often applied in layers to create depth and texture. These pigments can have a subtle sheen or a more pronounced texture. It depends on the artist's intention. Works by artists like Taiken Yokohama and Joshu Hayami showcase the beauty and variety of the Nihonna paintings. The use of texture in paintings not only adds visual interest, but also provides the cultural insights serve, serve as a connection to the environment materials techniques used by artists throughout the history. By examining texture paintings from different cultures, we can gain a deeper understanding of the diverse ways in which artists have sought to express themselves and their world.